Pull we'll this loop down. Same thing with the other one. And then you're going to fold it four fingers inside. And then from the corners, you're just going to roll it. Roll it in. And this is what you get. You turn it around. The ears, you can mold it the way you want it. <laughs> that looks more like me. <laughs> Here we are at anchored in the port of Syed, which is the entrance to Egypt from the Mediterranean. We are currently anchored. It is nighttime. They operate the Suez Canal one way at a time. So that's where we are anchored before we take off to go into Egypt through the Suez Canal. Uh, we'll see a welcome sign. Uh, I believe as we enter the hotel right now we are anchored in the harbor. and now you can see the uh, boat behind us, probably a mile behind us, just for security, or not security, but safety purposes. And then the side of the peninsula with all of the sand and the other side. This is the Suez Canal.
classic names because first every king will have two titles. The best place, yes, it's clearer there. They bought the cartouche and the name inside. Why? When they bought the name inside the cartouche, that will protect the person from black magic, evil eye, envy, many things. So let's look at this one. You can see a circle. A circle like that is Ra. Who is Ra? Sun God. Right? Then. A stick with animal head. That means prosperity or happiness. Right? Then. A lady sitting down with a feather on the head. That means justice. Okay? Then. This thing with the end like hot. It's a verb in hieroglyphics. It means to choose. Choose someone. Okay? Then, you can see water wave. Water wave is letter N in hieroglyphics. But when they put letter N beside a verb, they wanted to say it happened in the past. Okay? Then, circle again is rock. So what do you want to say here? They wanted to say that this man was prosperity and justice of Ra. And he was chosen by his god Ra. That, that's how they say it. Name Ramses. It is not Ramses. No. It is Ra Mises. Again, Ra, some god. Mes means child. S means of. Child of. Ra. Every name will have a meaning like that. Okay? Let's go this way.
Hotel where we're staying in Luxor. It's a real nice hotel right across the street from the Nile River. sailboats across the Nile. In the background you can hear the call to prayer. Uh, there goes one boat and here comes the second one right here. being pushed away. Yeah. That's the type of boat that we're in, one of those. We're starting to cruise across the Nile on our sailboat. We don't have crocodiles here. Where are they? We are in the Lake Nasser behind oh, the dam. Prayer at the Muslims for coming from the They No, actually, towers. we have crocodiles here till 1902. When we made the, uh, the old Aswan Dam, 1902, they started killing the crocodiles. Because as you have seen, houses are by the river. Okay? So they were attacked quite often. So they started killing them. Last the crocodile, was killed by a famous
But what comes out through the speakers is the same all the time. And, uh, Boat ahead of us is turning around and gonna dock there. We'll be doing the same thing. Actually, it's a nice day today. The sails do not have to be full in order to catch the wind. There's a powerboat coming. We just changed course so it didn't collide. Okay, John is asking uh, a while ago, they had a near ride before the heat shift. A long time ago, it was running through Ontario. We're going to sail to get more wind. Take us into shore. Luxor, Is that coming about? I'm standing on the back balcony of the hotel and we just returned from the West Bank and the Valley of the Kings overlooking their fabulous gardens and yard. This is certainly a five-star hotel.